Hi everybody, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about five things that you are doing wrong with a rifle. Number one, you don't put yourself in a tradable position. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's say that you're coming out long A on dust 2. If you swing out wide near car, you can be spotted from ninja on A sight. If you don't have any teammates behind you that are also swung out wide, you can't be traded since they can't see the angle yet. Waiting until your teammates are ready to peek and then staying in tradable positions prevents you from dying without a refrag. An easy way to make sure that you're tradable is to take a glance at your radar before you swing, that is, if you have the time to. This will allow you to make sure that your teammates are in positions to trade you out. Number 2. You are getting caught off guard. Paying attention to what utility is being thrown at the start of the round or during an execute will allow you to deduce what angles are being covered and what angles are going to be open. Knowing this will help you decide what to focus on when entering onto a site or just taking map control. Now, if you expect something to be held by your teammates, unless it's very obvious, you want to make sure that before the round, you're actually talking about this. Now, there's a lot of dead time before an actual execute. Lots of people like to wait until a specific time on the clock, and it's, you know, 10 seconds of nobody saying anything. So if you want to say just a quick throwaway line of like, hey, I'm going to be swinging out towards Underbalk. If you guys can look towards Sandwich or Bench, that would be great if you're coming out on a site Mirage. This saves you the frustration of your teammates not doing what you think they're going to do and your teammates the anger of you assuming that they know what's going on when in reality they were waiting for you to tell them. Also, asking for specific flashes when actually going out onto the site really helps your teammates help you instead of you just waiting for them to throw something and they either throw it improperly or they don't flash what you want or they just don't throw a flash at all. Number three. You go out first when he shouldn't, and vice versa. If you're walking out onto a site Mirage and your opera's next to you, ask them if they want a contact or they want a trade. If they want a contact, all you have to do is wait behind them, allowing them to get the opening pick and then exploding off of their contact. If they want a trade, then you need to run out and clear the close angles while hopefully they hold the long angles. Number four. You don't communicate enough information. Now I've touched on this a bit throughout the video, but there's more to it than just asking for flashes and knowing what utility is being thrown. If you're all alone on one side of the map, you can't just go silent. Although it's good to be quiet so you can hear the information, you then need to take that information and relay it back to the team. This slower playstyle will help you win more T-side rounds because with all of the information, your IGL or whoever's calling strats that game can make proper deductions with all the information. It's a lot easier to make calls when given actual information instead of just trying to assume what's going on around the map. If you hear any sort of utility being used, players rotating, players pushing, you need to call that information. And just because you have a designated IGL does not mean that they need to make all of the calls. If you hear everybody rotating off of B, you can't just say, hey, they're all rotating off of B, by the way. You need to step up and make that kind of call where you say, hey, guys, let's go B. They're all rotating off. I'm going to push through here. You guys need to come up and follow. Just because you're not the actual IGL doesn't mean that you can't make any calls. Another thing is don't be afraid to repeat yourself. Sometimes calls get lost in the mix, right? During a default, lots of people can be talking at once or there might be a really important call coming in when you want to make your call that's maybe not as important. Repeating yourself later on in the round just to make sure that your IGL heard you or the rest of your teammates heard you, especially if you see one of your teammates pushing to an area where you know it's not clear, isn't a bad idea. Number five. You don't know how to trade properly. While I've made a standalone video on this topic before, here are the basics. If you're not the first person going out onto a site or taking map control, you need to be focused on whoever is. This is because if you haven't specifically practiced entry routes with your teammates, you'll have no idea where they're going. While this may seem difficult, it's really not that bad. All you need to do is keep your entry on your screen and look at where they're going and what they're holding. For example, on A-Site Mirage, if they come out and they're holding Underbalk, you need to cover up the angles that they're not holding, which would be Triple and Bench. 
Hopefully the third man out is on the same page as the both of you so he can see what you guys are holding and fill in the gaps. While there's no correct way for the third man to come out and fill those gaps in, possible things that he could do would be double up underbout to make sure that your first entry is tradable or hold CT since that is technically open. I hope that you can find this video helpful and at least one of these things you did not already know and you realize that it is a fault in your gameplay. So if it was helpful, please consider subscribing or giving the video a like. If you want to see me cover some sort of specific topic that you haven't seen covered before, please feel free to leave a comment or join my Discord and message me on there. If you want your demo reviewed by me, I do it every single Sunday. Check it out on my channel page. You just click the join button and become a channel member. Again, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day and I will see you next time.